I know, um, sweetie. Did you hear me, hun? I said, um, oh my god. What happened to the TV? Sweetie, are you okay? Where are you? Baby, there you are. Why are you crying? Hey, what happened? Are you hurt at all? No, hey, hey, hey. Come on, deep breaths. Come here. Come here. Deep breaths. There you go. One more. Breathe. Good. Are you hurt at all? No? Okay. Thank goodness you're not injured. Can I ask what happened to the TV? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. It's okay. I'm just curious. Keep breathing. Deep breaths. Speak slowly and whenever you're ready. There's no rush. Here. Hold my hand, sweetie. Now, look into my eyes and go ahead and tell me what happened whenever you're ready. Take it slow and calm. It's okay. You're not alone. Oh, really? No, no, I don't blame you. I would be furious too. But then what happened? <sighs> I'm guessing that's why the TV's broken. Hey, no, don't cry. It's okay. Seriously, it's okay. Shh, I'm not mad at you, baby. I'm not. You don't have to panic. Why would I be mad at you? Breathe, baby, breathe. Slow. I'm here to make you feel better. I'm not upset with you. But what did you do after you hit the TV? So you've been hiding away ever since? Oh, I'm really sorry, babe. I wish I would have been there to help. I know. I know I don't need to apologize, but I still wish I would have been home. I just... I'm sure it wouldn't have happened then. No, you're not awful. Don't say that about yourself. Listen to me, sunshine. Anger is a normal emotion. It's an important one, too. It helps us act when things aren't fair. But you're smart. You know that it wasn't a good way to vent your frustration. And I think that's obvious because you're embarrassed about it. <sighs> yeah, and guilty too. I know you never would have done that if you were in your right mind. Hey, no, I never said I was mad. Please, keep breathing, it's okay. I promise I'm not mad at you. I just want to make sure you're okay. Keep on breathing. You've got this. And 
that's the thing about anger, too. Just like any other emotion, it can be really easy to get caught up in. But anger is the emotion that usually leads to the most noticeable outbursts. Sadness, fear, jealousy, all powerful emotions. But they're also a lot easier to hide. I mean, with anger, it's hard to keep all that rage under control. Sunshine, no. You don't have to keep that inside. You should never keep your feelings inside. <sighs> okay. No, I'm not saying you should have punched a hole in the TV. But I am saying you shouldn't try to bottle up your emotions. That just makes things worse. Well, let's think. There are ways to release anger that don't involve violence. You could scream into a pillow. You could punch the air. Or even ramble to a pet. Pets always listen. <laughs> There's a lot more we can try, too. Have you ever thought about getting a stress ball? Or maybe just any stretchy toy to stretch around when you're upset? Or maybe we could even get a punching bag or something. Or even some clay to mold and throw. Mmm, baby. Don't be ashamed of being angry. Really, everyone gets mad sometimes. The fact that you got angry is not the problem. The problem, and I know you know it too, was lashing out the way that you did. And even though you did that, again, I'm not mad. And there's nothing wrong with you. Hey, 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 no. You're not horrible. You're nowhere near horrible. Why would you say that? Sunshine, please calm down. Shh. Remember to breathe. Deep breaths. Of course I'm not mad at you. No, not at all. I'm not afraid of you. Why would I be? No, I'm not worried you'll hurt me, hon. I'm not afraid of you one bit. Yeah, you may have broken the TV. No, that's obviously not okay, but what else did you do when you were mad? Did you hurt yourself? Did you hurt anyone else? No. See? Even at your most angry, you didn't hurt any living things. And that's actually great. We just need to work on not breaking things. And that's okay. We'll get there. Uh, hon, I can't lie and say that I'm happy you broke the TV. TVs aren't cheap, but I'm way more worried about you than I am for some stupid TV. Now, listen to me, baby. You are not a monster for being angry. And you're definitely not a bad person for losing your temper. I mean, as soon as you crossed the line, you instantly felt bad about it. I think that just shows that you weren't malicious about it. Well, you've already apologized. 
and really that's step one of making up for it. Step two would probably be to get the broken TV out. No, 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 don't get up yet. You need some love right now. Yeah, you do. Come here. <laughs> you do, you do. I love you, sunshine. Even at your worst. We will learn to manage your anger. And we will find better coping mechanisms. I promise. No, it's not like I can't watch my shows or movies. I have a phone for that. Yeah, sure. It'll be harder to watch them together, but that'll be temporary. Besides, I think sharing a smaller screen gives us a good excuse to cuddle extra close. <laughs> Hey, and just remember this too, no matter what, I love you. You can't scare me off that easily. No, as I said earlier, we can worry about throwing the TV out later. Right now, you are my number one priority. Mm-mm. Your anger does not define you. Your anger does not control you either. Because you know something? You're not a violent person. You just had a bad day. And that's nothing to hate yourself over. Everyone has bad days. Even me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love you, baby. I know that angry side isn't who you are. You're sweet, caring, lovable, and super cute. One bad moment doesn't change that. <laughs> yeah, of course. We can stay all snuggled up until you're ready. Then we can worry about making up for your outburst. But right now, I want to make sure you feel okay. I love you, sunshine. We'll get through this. Just like we always have. <laughs>